Okay, guys, you're welcome to another episode of the Bed with Ben Hini podcast. This is a podcast that opens the door to unfiltered and relatable conversations about the unique life experiences that we have as millennials. So, again, you're welcome. If you're listening on Spotify, hi. And if you're watching on YouTube, hello. <laughs> I know that's a bit awkward, I know, but I had to do that because we do have the audio version out on Spotify. So if you're watching on YouTube and you ever have time and you want to listen to the audio version, it's always going to be on Spotify podcast. So again, yes, Um, but in today's episode, I am talking all about decision making as an adult um, because I've come to realize that that is one of the hardest things to do as an adult i've come to realize that it feels literally like a task if you have to make a decision as an adult and that's because as an adult once you make a decision it could be life-changing um it could have long-lasting effect it could go all the way bad or it could go all the way good so i have come to realize that and i feel like i'm recording this episode and all my episodes are always like in sync with what i'm currently going through and i really like that because i can relate okay the thing is i can relate um i've had to make some big girl decisions that's what i call them big girl decisions in the past few months and that's definitely what inspired this episode um over the past two months i quit my job and i think i've spoken about that a few um, a few times in um, a few episodes so upon quitting my job what I should have done is actually make sure that I had secured another job before moving forward but to me I was like well I have the qualifications I'm good um, and obviously it's America their jobs but I didn't think that it could take up to two months to get a job. I was thinking it might take at least a month. So I could use that month to, you know, vacation, rest. That's what I call it. Rest, vacation. Um, But it took me a little over two months to get another job. And within that little over two months, I was almost going haywire, which I talked about in the previous episode. So if you haven't checked that out, um, definitely take time to check that out after this one. But... I realized within that two months that next time I don't make a decision like that again okay next time I'm only quitting a job once I have secured another job (laughs) so that was one thing for me because within that two months I realized that I didn't like the idea of not having a job Um, even though I could do a lot of other things just the idea of not having that stable income it wasn't working for me I, 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 I actually learned a lot of things about myself I realized that I was a type of person that liked stability I like stable everything relationships family I've come to realize that I am a type of person that I'm more um, peaceful when things around me are stable my friendships are stable my income is stable you know that gives me more joy so I literally lost my joy within that time and um, another thing that hit me was you know what I'm not going to make any big girl decision without thinking it through without making thorough um, you know breakdowns of what I actually need to do to make sure that I'm making the right decision because I have come to realize that as an adult when you make decisions it doesn't just affect you especially when you have family like me I have kids I have a husband so when I make decisions or when my husband makes decisions we tend to um, have choices or make decisions that affects the entire family and our kids are literally just kids you know so um, we have to be careful of the decisions that we're making we have to consider a lot of things so in this episode I have created a few things that you should take into consideration if you're about to make a big decision a big girl decision or a big boy decision um, these are a few things that you should take into consideration okay because making that life-changing decision it might not be as life-changing Um, But as long as you're an old person or you're an adult, every type of decision that you make could, you know, turn something around and it could go for a good thing or it could totally mess you up. So again, 
I'm going to share with you seven things that you should consider before you make that big girl decision. Um, whatever decision it is that you're making, as long as you feel like this could be a life-changing decision, these are the things that you should consider before you make those decisions, all right? Um, the first thing that you should consider when you're making a big decision as an adult or when you're making any decision as an adult is you need to gather relevant information. You need to make sure that you have all their data, okay? Or, I mean, if you say data, <laughs> whatever works for you, okay? You need to make sure that you have your research done. So in my case, I had to make sure that I had at least secured a job you know that was going to start in like a month so that i know that in a month i have a job that is already starting but not coming home to not have a job and now looking for a job that thing took it took me through hell <laughs> and so that's why that's pretty much the only example that i've had um but i've also had to make some really big girl decisions over the past few um months that i was even telling my friend that why do we have to make all these decisions as adults like why it's just so much that they don't tell you this about adulthood making decisions it will literally take you into chokehold you're like oh what should i choose what should i do what should i decide to do you know so definitely um definitely gather information do your research seek you know information from other people around you that have already made that decision or that have been through that same thing that you're about to go through and then that way you get to have the information that you need to guide you as to how to make that decision and personally i feel like personally i feel like whenever i'm about to you know when i talk to other people when i hear from other people um especially people who have had very similar experiences as me it helps me so much because then it gives me it just gives me direction as to like what to do or how to go i know maybe a lot of people are like let me make my decision myself so that i don't blame it on people my husband is definitely like that and i respect that um but there are also i am also the type of person who believes that listening to other people's experiences or hearing people shared experiences can be very helpful to decision making so definitely gather your points gather your information do your research before you make that decision all right okay so the next point i'm gonna say is make sure that you're precise with the finished product or the goal or what you want to achieve at the end of the day and that's key because I have been at a point in my life where I've been all over the place not knowing what exactly I wanted to do. I'm not even going to lie. Um, you know, I've been to makeup school before. I've been to radio school before. I've, you know, I've done a little bit of fashion here and there, you know. And I did home economics in school a little bit and then I did business. You know, like I've had a lot of times where I didn't know exactly what I wanted to do just because I didn't know what the end product of Akusia Benhini was going to be. So you always want to make sure that if you're making a decision, you want to know what you want that goal to be, what is the finished product that you want to see at the end of the day when you're done. So keep that in mind, make sure that it's a clear defined picture so that you're able to actually, you know, set your um, task or your to-dos in a way that can help you achieve that goal. So definitely always make sure that you have a very definitive goal to make sure that you know exactly what you're going for so that you're not all over the place like I was, okay? <laughs> and this next point is definitely a little shaky because it's shaking my tables and I'm not even going to lie. Now, when you're about to make a big girl or a big boy decision, you need to consider the long-term consequences, okay? And I always say this, um, sometimes we don't like to think negative, um, which I do not preach in any way, but always as an adult, you need to weigh need to weigh both sides okay what if this goes wrong what am i going to be losing if this goes wrong how is this going to go against me if it doesn't exactly go as planned so that's why sometimes they say that you always need to have a backup plan and that is so true because if you don't have a backup plan and the initial plan fails there's nothing to fall back on
So you always need to make sure that you are checking what the consequences might be if this doesn't go right. You always need to know that this could go wrong and if it does go wrong, this is what I'm going to be facing. So again, before you make that decision, you always need to consider um, what the consequences might be. Some decisions might give you short-term um, like happiness, but then long-term suffering. <laughs> and we all know, we all know that sometimes we make some decisions in the spur of the moment. Sometimes it can be financial decisions. It's mostly financial decisions. But in the spur of the moment, we make some decisions for short-term feelings or for short-term um, excitements or stuff like that and then you know that in the long term this is gonna is gonna go against you so you always want to not just look at the short-term um, gain that you're getting from this decision but you also want to think about the long term especially for a parent like myself you're thinking in 10 years time how is this going to be you know helping the family even how is this helping me in turn in turn helping the family because you don't just want to make a decision for that short-term feeling so always keep in mind that decisions may come with consequences um and be ready for them when they do come because as an adult that's the sad part of it you have to face the consequences when they come with it there's no mommy or daddy i mean there might be mommy or daddy to run to but they can't exactly take it all so just prep yourself for anything and just know that your decisions can always have consequences. Um, so the next point, which is my point number three, I'm going to say that trust your intuition when you're making your decisions, okay? And especially as an adult, sometimes sometimes there's, there's really nobody to talk to about the decision or sometimes you actually don't want to talk to anybody about a decision because you don't want anybody influencing that decision which i respect i respect that a lot i respect that a lot if you're an adult because you know um it, you know that if the consequences come you're gonna deal with it yourself so that's good but also trust your intuition when you're making these decisions okay because you are going to make the decision for yourself um if it goes well it goes for you i mean i feel like we're all gods in our own little way and our mouths hold so much power um making that you know making a decision and believing that that decision is going to go well can go a long way to actually making the decision go well because it makes you put in so much energy it makes you put in good vibes you know and sometimes all you need is that good vibes and good energy to make something happen so when you make a decision or when you're about making some decision don't 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 like feel so unsure of yourself i mean sometimes it can feel like that but try to take that worry out of your head and trust yourself enough trust your, i mean trust yourself enough to say that if it goes wrong i will find a way to pivot and that's one thing about me that i always say that i'm gonna figure it out okay <laughs> that's like that's one thing about me i am going to figure it out i might go down for a second because of something that I decided to do, but I will come back up. It might take a second, but I will come back up. And that's what I want you to believe. Believe in yourself. Like trust your intuition. Trust the decision that you're making. Trust yourself enough to know that no matter how that decision goes, you still will get out of it feeling good. I mean, you still will be able to rise out of it. So don't don't put too much pressure on yourself, okay? Trust in your trust in yourself, trust your intuition and just make that big girl decision okay and my next point which is my fourth point um i'm gonna say that seek advice or seek some sort of communication from your trusted people around you if you're the type of person that um you know likes conversation or likes to hear shared experiences like myself it helps a lot okay it does help a lot so i do have a few people that i know that if i talk to about one or two things my husband included um i know that it, they would be able to tell me or guide me or say something at least that will you know prompt me to think in a certain way and if you don't have those people um i'll definitely pray that you find those people because it could be your sister it could be your brother it could be your dad they, but you do or might have somebody that when it, whenever you're about to make some sort of decision you call them and then when you hear them talk is or when they say something even if it's not 
like trying to tell you exactly what decision to make but they just will say something that will make you feel like oh that thing that you said you know you said that thing that's why i always want to talk to you because i know that you say something that will prompt me in thinking in a setting way and so find that tribe for you that will do that because i am grateful to have that in a few people around me um and it doesn't again it doesn't have to be you don't have to go around telling everybody or seeking advice from everybody because really and truly we don't need advice from everybody And I just want to say that we don't need advice from everybody, you know, but the real people that you know that have your good interests at heart, definitely reach to them whenever you had that decision to make because you know that this person only wants to see me succeed. So you need to know that tribe. They need to be your very tight tribe, okay? That's what I'm saying. They could be your family. If you don't feel so comfortable with friends, they could be people that uh blood so that you know that if this person does something bad, then I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. So, um definitely seek advice or consult from you know, it could be your pastor if you feel comfortable or if you're the religious type of person you definitely can reach out to a religious leader because usually you can always um, know that or trust that it stays with them so definitely reach out to someone and um, get some sort of advice before you make that big boy or big girl decision all right so my last but not the least point um, I'm going to say that consider um, you know be open and, and consider different options when you're making decisions because sometimes you can make a decision and be so fixated on a particular goal or a particular outcome and sometimes you might be presented with a very similar outcome okay and you might think that oh because that's not what I wanted maybe that's not what I should take especially as an influencer that's why I'm saying that especially as an influencer sometimes we can be so you know fixated on wanting to do this or um, accept a certain type of payment from a certain brand or brand ourselves in a certain type of way Um, and sometimes you might be getting a whole different type of offer and you might not look at the future you know you're not being futuristic enough to look at what the future gains might be and I'm saying this because I almost did that with my Amazon um, deal that I have right now and I'm not even going to lie in the very first year i've been with amazon at this point for over three years i mean around three years which i'm very grateful for but let me just say that in the very first year of being an influencer for amazon i didn't even think of it as wow this is such a big opportunity i just thought wow this is so much work because i have to review all these products and every day i was so stressed out about reviewing the product but now moving forward almost two years later when i look around me and i look at how amazon has literally transformed my life from the things that i wear to the things that i use in my home to the things that my kids use you know to literally not making me have to spend so much money on lifestyle things it's it's just mind-blowing to me that in the beginning i didn't actually see this opportunity as a very big opportunity and i almost downplayed it i was almost about to lose that partnership because i wasn't doing the reviews that i was supposed to be doing because i didn't see how big of a blessing that was because to me i'm like well that's not giving me any money i don't need any things in my house once am i needing three years later i have come to realize that the things that i have in my house from amazon just from that job that i have with them if i had bought them with my money it's so much money and i can't even mention it it's this way it's insane so i'm going to say that when you're making a decision don't always be too tight or be too rigid um, and say that this is exactly what I want the outcome to be and if I'm presented with a B I'm not gonna take it because A is what I want no be open be a little open to different options because sometimes something else could give you a long-lasting um, effect something else could give you a long-lasting feeling a long-lasting blessing that you might not even be looking at right now and take it from me I almost lost that partnership because because I didn't think of it I didn't think how it was going to change my my life in the long term and now I've been with them for as long as I can think about and I'm so grateful for that opportunity so whenever you're making that decision think think 
think and be open to other options as and when they do arise because that could be just what you need in the moment and you wouldn't know you wouldn't know that god could just be blessing you with actually what you need but you might be bypassing it for what you think you need and overlooking what's the big thing you should be taking is it might be all over the place with what i'm saying but you get exactly the points i'm trying to put across to you do not be too tight okay do not be too rigid be open to different options when they do come up okay so the very last point that i have or the last thing that i'm going to say is learn from your mistakes okay learn from your mistakes and know that not every decision is going to go exactly how you want it to go that's how you're going to be able to make better decisions in the future like myself i know that i'm going to have a job before i quit my job okay i'm not quitting my job till i have another job so remind me the next time i tell you guys that i want to quit my job because i need to make sure that i have another job and i'm not even going to forget so i just want to i just want to say that learn from your mistakes know that decisions can turn out badly um it's just life really okay decisions can always go wrong so learn from when you make a bad decision so that you can go on to making a better decision for yourself so thank you guys so much um that literally brings me to the end of today's episode um i just want to end by saying that making decisions as an adult is not an easy thing again it literally feels like a task to me sometimes it feels like a daunting task especially when i think of the fact that it affects um it might go on to affecting my kids and the family at large so it's it's hard but don't be too hard on yourself take it easy on yourself and know that you have people around you that you can seek advice from gather some information trust yourself and learn from the past mistakes or the past decisions that you made that went wrongly so don't be too hard on yourself okay Give yourself a pat on the back because you're doing amazing so far. And whenever you're ready to make that decision, tune back into this podcast and listen to this episode. So it serves as a reminder to you. Thank you guys so much for watching and listening to um, this episode of Bed with Ben Hene. I just want to say that don't forget to be the best version of yourself in everything that you do. All right. See you guys in the next one. (laughs) I'll see you guys in the next one. All right. Bye.